So let's start out with a simple example of using the spring force. Um, so here's a problem where we have a spring anchored into the ceiling and we're going to hang an object from that spring. Um, and we know that the, the rest length of the spring is 0 0.5 meters. Um, so when we hang a two kilogram object from that spring, how low is the spring gonna hang from the ceiling? That's my question. And we're given here the spring constant of the spring is 250 newtons divided by meters, but which by the way is the unit that people usually use for the spring constant, newtons divided by meters. Okay, so first thing we need to do is draw this. Um, so let's get the ceiling in here and let's draw a spring. So the spring is coming down vertically from the ceiling. Okay. Let's draw an initial picture and a final picture actually, just to make sure about this. Um, so let's say that this is the spring when it's at rest and happy and there's nobody hanging from it. Um, so that is gonna be a, at a length of 0 0.5 meters when there's nothing hanging from it. And I am going to draw a little dashed line there just to remind me that that's where the rest length of the spring is because that is an important thing to remember. Then once we hang this object from the spring, it is of course going to cause it to sag downwards and get longer. So the spring is gonna extend down maybe like this, okay? So there's my object when it's hanging down. Um, the distance from the ceiling to the dashed line is still 0 0.5 meters. So this is a two kg object, okay? Um, and what I wanna know is how low will it hang from the ceiling now? So let's call that L. Okay, that's what the question is asking me for. All right, so how do we do this? Step one, you guessed it, free body diagram is the first thing we should think about before anything else. I'm gonna do my free body diagram off to the side a little bit um, to avoid clutter. So let me draw it here. So there's my object. So now I go through and ask, what are the forces acting on this object? Um, first of all, I have gravity pulling the object down. Okay and gravity has value mg. And then I have the spring force. So which way does the spring force point? Um, there's a number of different ways you can reason to it. Um, probably the quickest way is to remember the spring force always points back toward the rest length. And the rest length is up here, which means the spring force should be going in that direction. So I'm gonna have a spring force in this direction. And the magnitude of the spring force is gonna be Kx. Now, those are my only two forces. Um, and I also know that the block is hanging at rest and at equilibrium. So that means the acceleration equals zero. So my F equals MA equation is just simply going to be KX minus MG equals zero. Very simple equation. Um, now, I actually need to start thinking about what these formulas mean and stuff like that. Um, so I'm given in the question here, uh, I know the mass is two kg, that's given. I know G is always, uh, 9.8 meters per square second. I'm given in the question here, K equals 250 newtons per meter. The only remaining thing there is X. So X is basically my unknown. So then if I solve that equation for X, I've got X equals MG over K. So that's gonna be two times 9.8 over 250, which is two times 9.8 over 250 is 0 0.078 meters, 7.8 centimeters. Um, 
So there's my value of X. Now, how do I actually answer the question? To do that, I need to be careful about what the definition of X is. So remember that X is going to be a vector which points from the rest length to the object's location. So that is X. So I calculated down here the magnitude of X is 0 0.078 meters. And I can see from my picture, this is going to be 0.5 meters to the rest length. And then it's hanging X down from the rest length. So that means my overall length, which is what I'm trying to solve for, is going to be 0 0.5 meters plus X. So that will be 0 0.578 meters, 57.8 centimeters. Okay. So that's an example of a simple problem using the spring force in the good old F equals MA framework to calculate something.